It's Mac the Guru. This is the review for Bel Air episode one, two, three, four, and five. I didn't got caught up. Shout out to the subscribers who told me to go check this series out. I like it. I really liked it. They did a great job, and I was impressed because the reason I didn't review it, I knew it was coming. I seen the previews and the trailer, but in my mind, I thought. Man, ain't nobody got the charisma as Will Smith. It ain't going to be good. They going to have somebody on there trying to do comedy. and uh, But they took it in a whole nother direction that I didn't know that they was going to do. You know, I just had no clue. I think the first time I seen the trailer, I just had a perception in my mind like, oh, no, nah, man, ain't nobody going to have the charisma as Will. I ain't watching. You know, but shout out to the subscribers that kept saying, yo, do a review for Bel Air. People emailed me. I had another person cash out me. Yo, man, I really want you to. I said, all right, let me check it out. You know, and I checked it out, and I was impressed all around. It was some classic scenes, too. That reversible uh, jacket scene was just classic. Uh, it, it was a bunch of dope scenes. I know they got a, a battle rap owner, uh, easy to block cast. I'm like, oh, okay, you know. I like the cast, and, and what we're going to do is we basically going to just go through everybody or the main people on the show, right, and just talk about different things and emotions that I felt watching it because I can't just do a recap of, uh, you know, one episode because I just watched five of them, you know, so I'm just going to go through each character, and it's going to be more like a podcast. Hopefully, it ain't too long. Hopefully, I can get through each character pretty quick. You know, because I don't want it to, you know, be a long video. You know, I'm going to try to get through each character quick and just talk about different elements of the character, how I felt about it, um, the cast and the acting, all that, man. We're going to go through it all. Now, before I do that, I do got to say I appreciate the writers and everybody who came up with this concept, the producers, all that, to change the tone of the show and make it more uh, intense and um serious just make it more serious and you know go deeper into you know different things that could happen when somebody leave an environment when a black kid leave an environment and then go to uh another place and have to adjust you know so that was all dope but without further ado let's start with will smith I like the cast, I like the acting, and the new adjustment that the character had to make after being the man in Philly, um, dealing with different issues and things you got to deal with growing up in the hood, right? We all we always used to say when I was younger, dog, you don't got to find trouble, trouble will find you, and that's exactly how it be. If you outside a little bit, I'm trip. Trouble will find you. And that's what happened with Will. Trouble found him. He wasn't like a bad kid. And most people in the hood ain't. It be like a few dudes that's just off the chain causing chaos. chaos. They just, they don't got it. It be dudes that literally don't got it. They don't make it either. They end up in jail or dead. Majority of them, you know, they just do not got it. You're like, yo, this dude just beefing with people and it's so crazy because they be beefing with so many people you don't even got to worry about getting them somebody else gonna get them you just gotta outlast them you know and this for the younger people listening to this that's in the hood right now all you gotta do is outlast them dudes in 10 years you're gonna go back them dudes gonna be bums they gonna be begging for money you know i'm from st louis north side up there on newstead i run into dudes all the time that I knew that, hey, Gerald, let me, da, da. I was like, come on, dog. Nah. Or they going to be dead, you know. So this was happening with Will. Will was going to outlast them because he had a situation where he was able to leave. All right. And then once he leave, right, because the situation happened, you know, crazy situation. He pulled a gun, tried to help his boy. Once he leave, then you actually see how people look at you once you leave the hood. 
like how people really look at you before the success come. Because remember, they looked at him a certain way at that school, um, everywhere he went. Before the success come came and everybody knew he was going to be the top basketball player. And then, then they started treating him different. The girls start coming up. Hey, Will, you know what you're doing? Da, 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 da. Uh, you know, we're going to be at the game and all that. Yeah, once they knew he had it. But once they initially seen him, they looking at like, yo, where this dude from? He not from around her. And people be looking at him, looking at you crazy. You know, until they figure out who you are and how successful you is or your talent. And he went through that process, that judgment process of coming from the hood, being different. And then he got past it. He got through it. I seen, um, you know, just a big change. And it slowly happened with him and each character. Only person that really embraced them was Hillary. Hillary em- embraced him. We're going to talk about her next, actually. But Hillary in, uh, embraced him when he first came in I Viv. But a lot of people, they was just like, ah, oh. you know, especially Uncle Phil. He looking like, yo, you embarrassing me. Da-da-da-da. Carden, we already know them issues. So a lot of people in the family, at the school, everybody looking at him crazy. But he persevered. And then a big thing happened. He had to decide to stay out there. Remember, this is episode five, so that's what he just did. He decided to stay out there with the pressure on because he got his friend Trey, right, that's back home. This was his boy in Philly, and Trey is, he he really sad. It's a bunch of emotions going through him because his dog is leaving and not coming back. You know, he going off to be successful. And in Trey Head, he like, dog, I got to go back and deal with Philly. But that's just, that's how it go. You know, for some people make it out and some people don't. And it ain't, they not different, right? They not, Trey not a bad kid. It's just really be the luck of the, you know, the luck of the draw. You know, so Will making it out. And you could see both of them going through them emotions. And they wrote it so good as they going through them emotions. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, this what it's this, this what it's supposed to be. Because that's what would happen if you decide to stay instead of going back. You know, which eventually Will could go back and help Philly and create things. That, but you got to take care of self first. In every situation in life, even if you in the airplane, they say, hey, put your mask on first, then help the next person. You got to take care of yourself first before you can help anybody else. You know, so we're definitely making the right choice. But the pressure was put on by Trey. The pressure was put on by his mom. You know, that's difficult to say, hey, mom, you know, I want to stay with somebody else. Because she could perceive that as, damn, I'm not doing a good enough job. What I'm doing ain't good enough. You got to let your mama know that. That's difficult. But salute to his mom. Because she got to understand it ain't about her and her feelings. It's really about Will, the best thing for him. And obviously, that's the best thing for him. In ways. I'm going to say that actually in ways. Because when we get to Carden, I'm going to talk about some other things. But um, in ways, that's the best thing for him. So, you know, I like how they captured all them emotions with Will. Um, and they did a great job with the character. Now, let's go on to Hillary. And, boy, did they do a great job casting her. Good God Almighty. I said, man, that girl beautiful. But not only is she beautiful, she gay, you know. Put in the comments if, if y'all think she could act. I thought she could act. I don't know if it's, I was blinded by the beauty. <laughs> I could have just been uh, blinded by the beauty or the booty. But I thought she could act too. You know what I'm saying? So I thought it was a great cast and all the way around. And then the little changes they did to the character though. is what I really was like, oh, okay. Because I feel like they did a better job with this. Like this Hillary... It's a little bit more interesting to me. Now, you know, the old Hillary, she's bad. She's a bad one, too. Yeah. But this Hillary is a little bit more interesting. It's like her 
her actual character is a little bit more dynamic to me watching it you know not to compare them but i like how they got her um trying to step out her on on her own and and um it just seemed like they they developed this character a lot in this one you know she doing the cooking thing and she got to deal with issues too with being black successful in this environment right of america and all of them got their different struggles with it that's what made it dope will with the adjustment uh hillary being trying to be a successful uh social media person and and a uh, cook she go talk to these people that her mama did hooked up with and they basically told her yo don't be too black and she said something so salute to her for doing that but it shows it struggles on every level on every level you know and she was dealing with it and then her and her mom been you know they similar both of them got strong personalities they've been going at it the whole time i mean the whole time uh, she got a great relationship with her siblings, which is, that's dope. Her other siblings, she got a great relationship with them. But her and her mom, yeah, they <laughs> they stay going at each other, you know. Her mom wanted to go down one path. She wanted to take another path. And one thing I will say, they got enough money to where when they letting her go out, she's still okay, right? She's going to have an apartment, nice apartment too. She's going to be good. I do not recommend kicking your kids out at at a certain age telling them go out in the world and figure it out people don't be ready to do that now if they you know go to college yeah let them go to college let them go but don't force them you know you should have prepared them enough to where they know i right, it's a time where i need to be figuring something out doing something with my life don't just force them out you know i would say if they under 25 don't force them out Give them that time to figure it out a little bit. And they'll figure it out, you know, talk to them. But, but just don't be like, I right, go out and be in the world by yourself. That's when people, uh, you know, be out here getting abused, a lot of people, you know. So I don't recommend that at all. But I like this character. It was, it was uh, Hillary was dynamic. Another dynamic character, Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil was super... Uh, uh, dynamic because you know he black man for sure for sure, but he out of touch a little bit. He's slipping a little bit, and whether he feel like he's slipping a little bit or not, the perception is he out of touch with the black community. Will seen it, you know. People see it. The uh you know, thing they went to with the fraternity, they seen it, the reverend, you know, people like, uh, you out of touch, which is an issue that they touched on. See, in a black community, you can get so big, so rich, where maj the the because majority of black people ain't rich for sure, for sure, right? So you can get so rich where the perception of be that, you out of touch with the community or you ain't one of us. It happens a lot. And that don't mean that's the case. The person that's super rich, a Floyd Mayweather or a, uh, you know, whoever. They could be giving back. They could be doing exactly what they supposed to be doing with money. You know, I say Floyd because I know Floyd give back a lot, but. The perception to everybody might not be that he, you know, is super up on uh, helping the community or whatever, you know. So um, it's a struggle when you get money and being and trying to still be able to connect with the community. And I like that they touched on that because this is something that really happens. And it, you don't got to get as rich as Uncle Phil either or Floyd Mayweather. It happens on smaller levels too. You could be making 150000 and a person in the hood that you grew up with be looking at you like, you know, what calling you Roscoe Jenkins and all type of crazy 
shit when you come back through the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it happens. I'm telling you. It happens. You're like, dang, dog, I'm, you know, I'm still me. You know what I'm saying? They think I fell out the loop because the last time they seen me hopping out the coop, I hopped out in the suit. But in reality, you be the same person. That was a Jay-Z line, by the way. But in reality, you be the same person, but people just looking at you different. Now, who is the person in a family that can relate to black people the most? Well, probably the person that's around the most is Will. And Will ran the, the, the play to get Uncle Phil back in the good graces, you know? But once that happened, things start moving uh, for their relationship. Things start moving for him and his political journey. You know, it's moving now. The one thing that, that's not moving for him, because, you know, him and Will relationship definitely is stronger. Um, his career, all that's going good. His relationship with Carlton. And that's definitely who I got to touch on next, man. And... And I'm, I'm going to get deep just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And l let's just talk black folks for, for one second, man. A little history, right? You see, and this is just my opinion too, you know. Huh? But in the 1960s, I believe black folks got compromised in a way, all right? We know a lot of good things happen from integration and stuff, but got compromised too cuz what happened was you or you as an adult right but you get some money and you like uh I want to live in better conditions I want the big house and the, 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 you know yeah you could build where you at but it's stuff that's already built and in your mind I'm go out there with the rich folks I don't got to worry about crime stuff like that cuz you best believe crime going to be wherever you know, people poor, you know, you're going to have some crime. So you're like, all right, I go out in, 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 the, in the county somewhere, or some, some place where the, the rich folks at. And that's where a lot of the rich blacks went. That's what they, they I, I got to go. Now, if you, you, you Uncle Phil, you Aunt Viv, you might be okay. Aunt Viv, cool. She going to be able to navigate it, whatever come. She going to still be hurt. Where we got compromised that was the kids. And this is how we get to Carlton, <laughs> right? Because the kids growing up, they are adjusting to where they at. They changing to adjust to the environment. I mean, they doing it. You know, you ever heard somebody say somebody talking black or da 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 I hate when ignorant people try to misconstrue it and make it ignorant. They try to make it like when somebody say a person is talking black or trying to sound white or something like that, they will make it seem like it's how they speak in the language, like how they speak in English. But it, it ain't got nothing to do with that when people say that. It's a true thing to say that because a person could be trying to sound white person could be but what it got to deal with it's not how well you speak the language it's the tone see people change their tone and certain people do it at a younger age like a Carlton right he didn't get older and say all right let me change my no he did it at a he made that adjustment when he was young and in his mind he probably like I always spoke this way you see what I'm saying but he, he changed his tone. I'm going to give you a, a, a example so you know what I'm saying. Um, Barack Obama. Everybody know Barack Obama, right? Barack Obama, very intelligent, can speak the English language to perfection. He going to hit every syllable. You understand? But when you hear the tone, you know it's a black man talking. See what I'm saying? He don't got the accent or none of that. But the tone in his voice, you know it's a black. People literally change their tone. You know? 
And the reason that happened is because, man, we've been compromised. People were making adjustments, the kids, right? Now, Car Carlton Banks, if he had kids, his kids going to sound like him. And they ain't going to have a clue where they, you know, where the adjustment came from. See what I'm saying? But let's get to the character of Carlton. Because he's struggling because of this. He's struggling with his identity. You could see it all throughout it. And because of that struggle, he hating on Will. Ah, oh, I'm like, oh, this is a hater. A super hater. His dad playing with him. He hate his dad shooting basketballs with him. I mean, he hating on it all. When he found out his dad helped him, he mad about that. Now, what you mad for? What you making a big issue for, really, man? And Trey was just running his mouth, but what what what's the big issue? Come on, dog. Yeah, he helped him out. He in a position to help him out. Kids make mistakes. People make mistakes. He helped him out. He made that an issue. You could tell how out of touch he is. They out there getting votes. Somebody, and this was hilarious. Somebody gave him a name talking about they Nino Brown, and he wasn't able to to recognize that like. And we're like, oh my God, dog, I gotta show you New Jack City. Like he's out of he out of touch. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't all the way his fault. This the position that a lot of us is in. When you wanna stay in that that uh you know, that area you wanna stay in, all right, that's cool, you know. But it might affect the kids a certain way, especially in the household if you ain't, you know, really having conversations with your kid and talking about these things, you know. But Carlton, because of this stuff, he came out as a true hater. But I, I didn't have no problem with the cast or anything like that. But let's go to a lighter note, and let's talk about Jazzy Jeff, my dog. You know, cool dude, welcome Will, you know, Got businesses going for himself. Surprisingly, too. You know, he like, I own the record store. Hillary looking like, what? You own the record store? Yeah, yeah, baby. You see, he like, yeah, baby. I own the record store. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that character. I like how he was casted. I think his role probably definitely gonna grow um, in the upcoming episodes. I do think since it's a different tone to the show, they going to make him and Hillary like have a relationship. And uh, he'll be able to be around the house more. And and I don't know if they're going to be throwing him out like <laughs> they was doing on the on the O. And I don't think it's going to go like that. But they probably have a situation where Uncle Phil had to throw him out. But it's going to be on a little bit more serious thing, you know. Because they still got the elements from the old show, but they didn't put a twist on it that make it so unique and so so good. But uh, I could definitely see that happening, and I'm 100% sure the character going to be around him more. Because in the, in the episodes, he he been there, but he ain't really, you know, just been around a lot, you see. Similar to Jeffrey. Oh, did I like what they did with this character, the Jamaica man? Yeah, I like this. They got they got Jeffrey, right? But they have made him more dynamic, more interesting to me. You know, first off, the first Fresh Prince that's classic. I'm not comparing. I'm just saying, like as an actual character, similar to Hillary, it's like it's more intriguing watching him. You know. Because he got this gangster background. He advised Uncle Phil. I'm like, oh, I really like what they did to this character. You know. Now, he does have the potential to turn into the bad guy. Just looking at him like, man, he got the potential. Because he know a lot. We, we know he on some gangster stuff. Because he the one who knocked off old buddy back in Philly or at least made the call 
So we know he on some gangster tip, but he know a lot. This the person Uncle Phil talked to and, you know, take counsel from other than his wife. He take a lot of counsel from Jeffrey. So Buddy know a lot. And it might go left with that. It's a lot of stuff where I watch this and and uh, say, yo, this could happen. They might be going in this direction. You know, one of them is definitely... Uh, uh, Jeffrey. Once I get through all the characters, though, I'm going to talk about what direction I could see them going in with different stuff, though. You know, but I already gave the one up with Jeffrey, though. I could see him being a bad guy in the future. Not the the short term, but the long term. I could see him turning into a bad guy. But I think I touched on most of the main characters. Uh, I got called to, like, oh, Vivian. Oh, man. How could I leave out on Aunt Viv. The dark skin Aunt Viv. We got the dark skin Aunt Viv. I liked it. You know, she vocal, uh, you know, very great wife, very great uh mom, auntie. She done stepped up, took in Will, and she, she doing it, you know, counseling everybody. Um she do gotta definitely work on the relationship between her and her daughter. But that scene where she had to talk to her sister about Will and want him to stay, whew. Like, picture if you was in that scene. Because you know it's the best for Will, but it's just like, you know, you know a mother would feel like you trying to take my baby away. Not my baby. You know what I'm saying? But she had to tell her sister, like, yo, I want him to stay. You know, so that was a, a very powerful scene. Now, the one thing I'm going to say with her, though, too, she better stay away from that art, that art gallery with old buddy, you know, the little Steph, the Steph Curry, light-skinned dude with the eyes. Yeah, she better stay away from buddy. You're, because, yeah, best believe he looking at her like, baby, I don't care that you married. You know what I'm saying? So she better stay away from him. He is slick. So I see it already. You know, and hopefully they don't go down that direction where one of them cheat her or Uncle Phil. That'd be nuts. I can see some potentials for Uncle Phil cheating too. But I kind of got that vibe when she was in the art gallery with, with old buddy. I'm like, oh, God. Hopefully they don't go down that. But but uh, definitely like that character too. Aunt Viv, great cast, great actor too. Great actress. Uh, she been acting for a while. I didn't see her in a lot of stuff. So, um, great job with the casting. Just all the way around. But other than Aunt Viv, um, the only other two people that got a, a, a big role so far to me is uh, Lisa. And, of course, Ashley, younger. They definitely doing something different with her character. But younger. So, they, they really haven't been giving Ashley a lot of shine. But I'm sure they going to. Uh, increase her her role uh going forward now uh lisa she in a rock and hard place really because she dated carlton and uh, this element i kind of feel carlton like bro we cousins i don't care how much you connect with this girl i don't care if y'all find each other similar on 125 different topics we cousins dog she off limits. We would, because if they had a serious relationship, she off limits, dog. You breaking the cold. Will is breaking the cold. I like the character. I like her, all that. But he breaking the cold by, you know, talking to his chick, by giving her play, flirting with her, all that. Nah, dog. That's, that's breaking the cold. He crossing the line. And I get him and Carlton got problems and, but no, nah, dog, you crossing the line. That's a no, no. So she in a rock and hard place because she don't want the relationship with Carl no more, right? But uh, what you gonna go talk to Will cousin? You already know Aunt Viv, and you know you already know Carl and family. Now you gonna his distant cousin come and you? Nah, uh-huh. that ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? And 
with Carlton pushing Will away from her, you know, because he got some dirt on him now with the, the whole gun case thing, him pushing her, I think that's a good thing. And I hope Will finds somebody else. He probably find that look. It's like a a chick that be always around Lisa. You know, he might start talking to her. He going to, you know, start talking to somebody else. You know, it's a lot of people that want him. You see the chick sliding up on him, you know. So, um, hopefully he start talking to somebody else because Lisa should be off limits. All the characters was pretty much dope to me. You know, the elements, everything. I done broke down where I'm at with it so far. Um, I will be doing a review on episode six. Uh, some of the predictions that I think will happen in this early, you know, these are my first predictions, theories, basically. I can see um, one of the people cheating between Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil. I can see uh, Jeffrey being a bad guy. I can see uh, Hillary and uh, Jeff them having a, a real relationship, maybe getting married, something like that. I can also see Trey getting knocked off back in Philly, which will be devastating to Will. But I can see it because the sad thing is everybody just don't make it out. And it not saying Trey a bad kid or nothing like that. It's just, it's just how it go. You know, or I could see him going back home and just becoming a gangster or something. You know, just I could see them going in that direction. He might grow up and be successful, more successful than Will, too. They could spin it like that and he come back and be Will enemy or something. You know what I'm saying? They could spin it like that, too. But more than likely, I could see him end up getting knocked off or going down the street path because he he went back to Philly. He didn't make it out like Will. But those just some of the things that I watched and I said, oh, I could see them doing that. You know, the critic in me looking at it saying, oh, I could see them going like that and da 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 you know. But as far as the show, the tone that they got, everything was dope, man. Salute to the subscribers for telling me uh, to review this because I never would have even watched this at all because in my head, I'm just like, man, they can't. They can't find another Will Smith. No, dog. They <laughs> Will Smith was a superstar. You know, funny. He got the songs, Summertime, all that. Like, they ain't going to be able to replace Will. But they didn't have to because they changed the tone of it. And, you know, so dope show. I know I said uh, I was going to try to make this short, but this John could have been a podcast, like a, well, I could have put this joint on iTunes. This joint long, you know. But I feel like I've been talking forever. But uh, um, great show. That's why I talk so long, man. Great show, and uh, just was sharing some thoughts on it on all the episodes one through five. Um, if you're still here, most definitely. If you're still here and you ain't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, and everybody click that like button. Um. I appreciate everybody. Thanks for the support. Um, thanks for putting me on the show, man. It's Mac the Guru. As always, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.